Hi folks, I'm Bob Schroep, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. How to fix plantar fasciitis in seconds, and this does work. Bob. Um, there's actually a study that showed that if you can do uh, stretches on your foot, that you're gonna have an 83% cure rate. It may take you a month or two, mm -hmm. but uh, we're also gonna show you some other things that might even make that go a lot right, faster. Right, right, because planters, they can drag on for a long time. Oh, I go on for a year, right? year and a right. half, I mean, so, without a doubt. And right. so, uh, and we know, we realize people don't have time for pain. I mean, who does? Right. I mean, maybe you do. I, uh, do you have some well, time in your day for pain, Brad? I, I like it, Bob. <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> just that. kidding, just kidding. I had a girl in my class that liked pain. Yeah. yeah. Let's get on with the program. Um, by the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Uh, there's also a little bell you can hit over there that will give you a first notification. The, not a button anymore, it's a bell. Well, there's a, a subscription button and there's a bell. Oh, good. You can hit the bell also. Good. Uh, also go to Facebook and like us, Bob and Brad, because if you do, we send positive vibes your way and you can become one of our good vibers. There you go. I like that. All right. Uh, the thing about plantar fasciitis, you should, should, probably should know what it is. Sure. Um, on the body, this is a, basically a type of heel pain generally. Generally, the pain is right there. That's, that's often where you feel it. You might feel it all over the foot. Sure. But this is where it's really bad. And the plantar fascia, plantar means bottom, mm -hmm. right? And fascia is a tough, thick, fibrous material. Right. And it extends along from, it starts on the heel here, and it goes up all the way into the toes. It's really, under, it's really important that you understand that because you'll understand why we want you to do these certain stretches. Right. And, and also, Bob, it's important that, but the, what's connected to the heel directly is the uh, Achilles tendon, right. which connects to these muscles. So we also want to address this muscle group and tendon along with this, but we'll get into that as we go on. And, and what I just saw in a study on that, Brad, is that, they, that in people who have plantar fasciitis, that tendon and muscle tend to be tight. Sure. Which makes sense, because if that's tight, you're gonna put more stress on the foot. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's all biomechanical. It all makes sense. Right, it all fits it. together. Yeah, it all fits. So let's start off with the first one. You're gonna to wanna to stretch that band, and a good time to do it actually is what, right away when you wake up in the morning, because I imagine many of you have that uh, thing that happens as soon as you get up in the morning, you put weight on the foot, ow, 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 oh, ow. Yeah, and it's then, one of the you, worst times. You kind of walk like this for a while, and mm -hmm. that's a classic symptom. Because all night long, that was starting to heal and tighten up on you, and then in the morning, you give it that instant stretch, mm -hmm. and you actually break it open again. So yeah. what you want to do is you just wake up, and you go ahead without standing on it, without putting any weight on it. You can just gently, and I want you to grab all the toes. You're going to get all the toes and you're going to pull them back like this. Sure. This is the stretch you want to do. You can actually go like this too. Mm -hmm. And just pressure on, pressure off, or you can do continuous stretches too. You know, up to 30 seconds. Yeah, it doesn't um, take long, 30 seconds. And then before you get out of bed, you're going to put your shoes on. Sure. Because it takes some of the stress off. Right. Now, this is the stretch you're going to do throughout the day. I mean, this is the stretch you're going to do every hour if you can, right? and this is what's gonna help you get by and get through this thing. Sure. So you can also do it in a chair, which Brad's gonna demonstrate, right. and you can do it with your shoe on. Right, yeah, so, you know, if you're at your at work, you got a chair, now this chair is a little low, but it'll work on a taller chair like you'll probably have at your desk, is and you, with your shoe on, you're gonna do this, you're gonna make sure your ankle is dorsiflexed or this way to help tighten things up, and then it works nice if you got a chair that has wheels on it because then you can kind of roll into it like this and get that stretch. Well, you you know, get that great toe extension again, right, Brad? Yep. You're getting that the, yep. toe extended like that. Right. So that, that's the big toe. The great right. toe. The greater toe. Yep. Um, so there, you know, and if you want to do the other foot for a little preventative maintenance, if you know, it could be that both of them are are sore, but yeah. you know, you can do that. And as you well. can also grab the foot. I mean, and yep, exactly, yeah. and go like that, or like that, yeah. exactly. And you know, depending on what kind of shoe you have, if you've got a, a, a hard leather shoe or a really thick yeah. uh, sole shoe, then you may have to take the shoe off and work it that way. Um, so be, be aware of what you're wearing. But generally, I think people will agree that when you have plantar fasciitis, if you sit for a while and then you get up again, again, you get that, that pain. Right. So that's why before you get up, you should make sure you do the stretch. Sure. Mm -hmm. And Brad's gonna also show what we talked about is how the Achilles tendon and the calf muscle, the gastroc soleus, they all attach into that heel and it's all one big unit. So we gotta make sure you do this stretch also, the one that Brad's showing right now. Right. And he's gonna do it with the knee straight 
This one? Yeah. And this one's see, not, not the one involved. We're looking on the back leg only. And you can see the stripes on his pants, the, the leg straight, and then you can do it with also bent. There you go. And it's tougher that way. You can see his heel comes up. And it, it, what he, it gets a different muscle. You get the soleus that way. On um, this way, you're more complete. And notice my toes, I don't have them out to the side like this. You want to straighten it forward, and that gets the, uh, the muscles that you want more effectively. If you happen to have an incline board like this, this is really the deluxe way to stretch. It's, it's more comfortable, it's easier, um, and as soon as you get on, you'll know. You don't have to. You can do it the way I did on the floor, but some people have these. Yeah, Brad, um, made, Brad we did a video where uh, he demonstrated how to make one of those. Brad's a handy guy. and, and uh, Yeah. I mean, you can buy them. We have them at our favorite products list. Sure. Uh, but, you know, if you're handy and you, you want to make one, we got a video on how to make one. And uh, quite cheaply, if you got a few scrap pieces of wood and screws around. All right, coming back to me. Take the attention off of him for a yeah, little bit. Yeah, no kidding. So now I'm going to go to the other foot. Boy, this one's kind of dirty. Oh. Um, you can actually do a splain massage, and this actually can be quite effective. Sure. So, again, you got the thick band here. I'm going to have my two thumbs, and I'm going to just pull them apart with pressure on them. So I'm going to that and I splay. That's what that is called. I'm pulling it apart. Ooh, that's the boy, you really feel that. Oh yeah. That's something that you may have to start off uh, working up in this area. You may not even be able to tolerate yeah. it down in this area where it's really sore. Sure. Or you may have to do it very light in this right. area to start off with. But again, you know, you can do this real quickly. You do it 20, 30 seconds or, you know, when you have time. Right. If you're really lucky, you might have somebody at home, maybe a brother, sister, spouse, whoever it is. Maybe they'll do this for you. Yeah, my brother's not touching my feet. I can tell you that. And neither you is You get my... your wife to do it. Oh, that's not happening. <laughs> and, and sad because I did hers when she had plantar oh, fasciitis. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's uh, good for you, kind, Bob. She actually kind of yelled at me because she's like, I've been suffering with this for months. And now you do this splain massage and it helped. Why didn't you do it right away, she said. Well, See, we, there's, no, there's no appeasing some people. But we, let's get on with okay. the program. So anyway, you can do that. And uh, the other thing you can do is actually an ice massage. Yep. And Brad's going to demonstrate that. Yep. So you can take a, a Dixie cup or a Styrofoam cup and fill it up with water uh, almost to the top, maybe a half inch from the top, and uh, fill, put it in the freezer for, you know, overnight. And then you're going to break away the sides of it until you get to the ice. Now, if you leave this in the freezer too long, it's amazing the ice evaporates, and that's what happened to this. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Because that thing was full. Yeah. But anyways, uh, it's a kind of a nice science experiment if you got children to show them that ice does evaporate. Yeah. And there you go. You want to put that on your... Well, usually what I do is I, I take my palm first yep. and warm it up a little bit and smooth it out because it's... Warm the ice up. Well, I mean, what happens is you got rough edges. Yeah, I know. So, and then you can just go ahead and take it, and, and it's just, it's a real fast yeah, thing. Yeah. What's nice about this is you can cool down this area, the inflammation down in, in again, you know, 30 seconds, it's starting right. to almost feel numb already. Right. Yeah, yeah this will wake you up, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little sleepy, and now I'm awake. All right, well, now we're going to go ahead and show you one bonus thing. Uh, we actually got a new product, which, where's my board describing the product? Oh, oh, behind me. Bob, oh, Bob. Oh, I see. You thought we wanted to show it. No, I just wanted to read it. <laughs> Pro Stretch Night Sock. So, I don't know if you can read that or not, but Pro Stretch Night Sock. We just got this sent to us. And it's funny, Brad and I have tried a lot of these, or maybe at least I don't know what you have, but I've tried a number of these. Right. And this seems to have solved all, a lot of the problems that these socks have or these uh, splints have. So, what the idea is, is that Throughout the night, again, everything tightens up with you, especially if your foot kind of goes down like this all night long. Which usually it does. So they want to put a little bit of stretch on the foot all night long, but a little bit, because if you put too much, it keeps you awake. Right, yes. So this comes with two components. It comes with a strap up here, and it's got a loop here. And, uh, and, and by the way, they were really careful on making the parts of this that it doesn't get caught into the blankets very easy. Sure. They, you know, they, they tried to design it that way. They also took into a consideration that a lot of those splints were bulky and hot. Right. And this is supposed to solve all those problems by not being bulky or hot. So, and you can walk with it if you need to get up in the middle of the night to take care of business. Yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. So the only thing is these straps are really sticky. They really stick to each other well. So, but I slide it on and it's got a piece in here. It's a plastic piece. Do you want to pull it out real quick, Brad? Well, I'll see what I can do here. 
But this is to keep so all the pull, toes yep. come up together for a complete stretch. Yeah, and otherwise just, it would it'd pull more just on the big toe or yep. just, but you can pull it out if you don't like the, you know, the feel of it. Yep. But otherwise it pulls all the toes kind of equally up. And um, you strap it on here too, you strap this part on. So that helps the sock from sliding yeah. down. Mm -hmm. And then this comes up. Good yeah, old Velcro, yeah, what, good what old would Velcro. we do without it? Now, I like this a lot better than a lot. Of, some of the night splints are actually molded plastic around yeah. the back, and they're just not, people say they're not comfortable, they kind of get in the way, it's hard to sleep with them. Well, one of the ones I just saw, Brad, you know, the strap went from here to here. Oh, sure. And, and it, it, I don't know if you remember that, it wouldn't hold very well. Yeah, wrong ink, I, yeah. yeah, I distinctly remember yeah. that one. And so this one, actually, because it gives you quite the angle here, it works really well. What they recommend is probably the first night, just bring it up to like neutral. You know, don't pull a stretch on it because a lot of people will, uh, I know my wife, you know, when she was wearing one and it did work for her very, very well. Yep. Um, when she was wearing one, she had to, you know, in the middle of the night she'd wake up and be loosening it up. Sure. So, um, but, and you may still run into that, but maybe start a couple nights in neutral and then. So know, neutral means the ankle is at a angle. Yeah. <laughs> the ankle's at a 90 it's degree. Not like this, and it, but you're not going this way either. Yep. And then you can maybe, you know, the third night or, uh, second night, you can maybe put a little more pressure on it, and then you know each night try to put a little more pressure sure. on it. And I mean, yeah, get up and stand. Show, yeah, show this can. this I, I really am impressed with this because it's not bulky in bed. You're not going to kick your partner in bed you know, right and, with a big splint. Yeah, and it's it's really yeah it's this is kind of a breathable material, mm -hmm. so it's it's not that hot. Yep, and plus you don't have a sock going all the way up here. Right, so yeah. it, it's it's you know it seems like they've solved all the problems. I, I'd like to have a patient to try it on because uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't know if there's some downsides that I'm not seeing. Right. So, right. Well. So we'll have a link down below uh, if you want to give it a shot and. Uh, a good old pro stretch. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, Very nice. Uh, otherwise, try the stretches that we're mentioning. Right. And you'll get rid of that plantar fasciitis.